Well, Kasata in the Western Cape says it is ready for its strike action against job losses in the province. A march to Parliament will take place on the eve of the budget speech. Kasata says it is also calling for the scrapping of VAT. Several organizations, such as Teacher Union Satu, Police Union Pop Crew, and the South African uh, Clothing and Textile Workers Union are expected to take part in the march. Our reporter Mariska Bota is there and she joins us now live. Uh, Mariska, thank you very much indeed for your time. Last week we saw the Casada strike on possible job losses taking place in various provinces. Today it's the Western Cape's turn. Uh, what's happening currently? Hi, good morning to you, Blaine. Yes, it's a beautiful hot day in Cape Town, but there's serious business to be had here today, even though there's a beautiful backdrop of the mountain behind us. Kusatu and its affiliated uh, unions are here today. They're going to be marching on Parliament, as you said, against privatisation, job losses and the VAT increase uh, that we saw last year. But to talk to us a little bit more about their aims, we have the Provincial Secretary of Kusatu with us, Mr. V Malvin Debrain. Mr. Debrain, thank you so very much for joining us this morning. Uh, there is of the country's uh, uh, Kusatu um, houses had their marches last week. Why did you decide to hold yours this week? Yeah, thanks. Yeah. Our last CEC decided to move the march for the West Cape to the 19th. And the reason was because the budget vote was supposed to be on the 15th and it was post, uh, postponed till the 20th. And then based on that, we decided let's rather move the West Cape march also to the 19th, the day before the budget vote. And why specifically do you want to do that? Yeah, and I think everybody is aware that what happened last year in 2018, where the minister introduced a 1% increase in the VAT, and it was hard to be opposed to that. And today, when I tell the minister, please reverse what happened last year, because our people can't afford to have a 1% increase, because if you take that 1%, in practical terms, it's only it's close to 7%. And the people, the poor, the poor, the ones that will suffer because of that. And they are still suffering since last year, because the cost of living went up, transport went up, everything went up. You, you are uh, protesting against the VAT increase, but there are also a number of other issues. What are some of those pressing issues that you want to bring to the attention of government? The other issue that we also, uh, is the issue of the massive job losses in our country, and I think everybody's aware of what's happening in ESCOM, SABC, even the clothing and technical sector, we have a company that are now faced retrenchments. We have the ADCON scenario as well. We can go further to all the industries that are affected by the job losses in the country. We are also saying to government, there was a Toronto Commission, names of in, in people who were implicated. We say government to deal with those people as well because fight corruption. We can't have uh, com uh, government that have, uh, that have corrupt, people that are corrupt in the, in the system. So we say to government, please look into that as well. Which are the unions that will be joining you here today? We, we've seen a different number of t-shirts here today. So who are the main uh, people that will be joining you? I think the, of the main unions will be Nihau, National Union of Mine Workers, South African Clothing and Textile Workers Union, South African Democratic Teachers Union, CEPAU. So there, we've got close to 13 unions in this province that will be joining us today. And we expect close to 10,000 people that will march to Parliament. And the, the, the budget speech is happening tomorrow. What would you as Kusatu like to hear from that speech tomorrow? What we want them, we want the monitor to tell us tomorrow that he will reverse a 1%. We want the monitor to come up with practical plans to create jobs in this country. When the minister to look into the mining issue where people are losing jobs on a daily basis, so they must come up with practical plans to create more jobs in this country. That will be one for the minister tomorrow. Thank you very much. That was Mr. Melvin De Bruyne, the Provincial Secretary of Kusatu in the Western Cape. We heard him there. They moved their march here to today. Uh, to, to make an impact and hopefully um, let the Minister of Finance see that people are serious about these pressing issues. People are losing jobs. They say that the burden of everyday life is getting too great and they want something to be done about that. Okay, Mariska Bota, live for us in Cape Town. Thank you very much indeed for your reporting. We'll uh, try to check in with you a little later. Des